you can update a table using a row of static values and assign them to appropriate fields. But if you want to update a set of rows in one table from the contents of another, there are a few different methods and techniques to accomplish this. We can use a from clause with a where clause to join the two tables together. We can also use a join instead of the where clause to tell the server which fields are connected in the two tables. We can use the merge clause, normally reserved for when you want to either update or insert data, depending on whether the data already exists in the table. Or we can use a common table expression if we want to do something more complicated with our tables before updating. Let's create two tables for the examples. The sales table that contains the number of sales made for each product by a salesperson. And the new sales table that contains the values we want to update the live sales table with. Note that all values in the new sales table are increments of five sales. The table setup and all of the demonstration code can be found linked in the description. The first option we can investigate is using a from clause to add the table. So if we use update sales and we want to set the old quantity value to the new quantity value in the new sales table, I'm going to use n as the alias for our new sales table in a second. Then add the from clause and add the new sales table. Next we need a way to show the server which rows we want to update. So add a where clause, and we can make sure the salesperson and product fields are joined in the sales and new sales tables. Since the fields in both tables are named the same, we need to use the full path to the sales table fields to differentiate them from the new sales table. So add the table name and the field name for both fields. Now after running the query, if we select the rows from the sales table, we can see that the joined rows have been updated to the new values only where the salesperson and product fields matched on both tables. The next method takes this from and where method and instead uses a table join to link the two tables ready for updating. To do this, we start with our update statement as before, but this time I'm going to use the alias of the sales table that I'm going to set up in a second. I'm going to use an alias of S. Next, add the set clause exactly as we did before in the previous demonstration. This time, the from clause starts off with a table I want to update. In this case, it's our sales table with an alias of S. Now use a join as you would if you were writing a select statement. Joining the new sales table to our sales table on the salesperson and product fields. When using this method, you might worry that the update statement will try to update both tables, but it will only update the table specified in the update clause. Any of the tables that we join to this table are purely for values we want to use in our updates or use for filtering and will not be updated themselves. If we select the data from our sales table again, you can see that the values have been updated as expected. The merge clause lets you choose what to do with data based on if the table you're working with already contains the data. Merge has two switches, one called matched, which is fired if your rows match based on the match operators, and one called not matched, which as you can guess fires if the rows do not find a match. We can use just the matched switch to update our sales table with the values from the new sales. Let's set up our merge statement by using merge into sales, then using, then our new sales table, and set up our join fields as we would with a table join clause. Then we want to update the sales table when we match a row in our new sales table. So add when matched, then update. Set the sales quantity field to the value of the new sales quantity field. Running this statement updates the quantity values where the server finds a match in the new sales table. Lastly, we can update our sales table using a common table expression, or CTE. Normally you would use a CTE to perform more complex manipulations or calculations on your data before updating. But for the demonstration, I'm just going to select the fields we need from our new sales table, where the quantity is more than or equal to 15. Set up the CTE as usual with the name we're going to give to our table expression. I'll just use CTE as the name. Then the select clause we want the CTE to represent. Now we can use the update structure we used in any of the previous demonstrations to update our data. But instead of referencing the new sales table, we can use the CTE as the join table. Set up the join as we did before. Then run the query to see the updated rows. In this video, we explored the different methods of updating a table from values contained in a different table. 
the method using a table join is perhaps the most friendly in terms of readability, and I'd stick to this method unless you need to manipulate the data beforehand, in which case a CTE may be an option. As always, test your queries to make sure they update the correct data before running against live data. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions of future videos. And like and subscribe for more content.